and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Justina. I create home decorating, home improvement, DIY crafting, and other lifestyle related videos. In today's video, I'm going to take you along with me as I go thrifting. I'm going to hit a couple secondhand shops in my local area, and then I'm going to show you some of the things that I got. Now, when I go thrifting, I usually have specific criteria or a purpose in mind. And if you're new to thrifting or would like to know some tips about thrifting, I've created a video about that entire subject. So I'll have that for you linked above and also below. So as I go thrifting in today's video, my specific criteria are the following. Original art or high quality art prints, lamps, and of course, dishes and teacups. I'm always looking at dishes and teacups. And then after you come shopping with me, I'll show you what we got. I just wanna mention, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I know a lot of you out there watch my videos but aren't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button and also the notification bell and joining our YouTube family. Okay guys, with all that said, let's go thrifting. I cleaned out my trunk and I made as much room as I could in the back, although I don't usually keep a lot in my car. I have reusable shopping bags. I am dressed appropriately for this damp weather. I'm ready to go. First stop is this huge Salvation Army. Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite. I will look at you and tell you that I'm all right, like a ricochet. Oh my gosh, you guys, somebody really loves the Judds. Or should I say, really loved the Judds. This Salvation Army is so huge that this whole room is dedicated to home furnishings and decor items. And they have a lot of great stuff here, but a lot of this stuff is expensive. It's definitely more expensive than the Goodwills of Greater Washington, D.C. But you can see there's a lot of great stuff. So here's what I'm coming home with. Sneak peek. That's a Laura Ashley vase from the 80s, vintage. And some plates, I'll show you these in the haul portion. And look at this cute pineapple. He's only like $2.99. So this is the treasure trove in Annandale, Virginia, and there are many treasure troves in the Northern Virginia area. It's my favorite secondhand shop, but what I love best about these stores, other than the fact that they have amazing items, is that the proceeds go to I Know This Hospitals. And a lot of you guys know that my son was born premature and spent a lot of time in the NICU, so it makes me feel really good shopping here knowing that the money that I spend is going to a very worthy cause. So let's get into the haul portion of this video. So if you guys remember, one of my major criteria for this thrift shopping haul expedition was to find original artwork or very high quality prints, and I found some really gorgeous stuff. So first, original artwork. Look at this. So this is an original painting. I picked this up at my local consignment shop, and I got it for like 75% off. It was six dollars and not only that there's this little pocket in the back and this pocket contains this information about the artist her name is Lena Y Lu she is a Chinese artist from Taiwan and I think that this is so special so this is something you definitely can't find at PJ Maxx or Michaels so here's the other piece of original artwork that I found it's a huge piece and you guys, it was $6. There's one little problem with this, and that is the backing here is coming off. So I need to do just a little DIY to shore this up and make sure that it's safe for me to hang on the wall. But it says right here, I guess it was $7, $6.99. Okay, so the last piece of artwork that I found is a very high quality print. This is one of 12 prints by John Bowles at Mercer's Hall in Cheapside. And some of you guys may already know this, 
but this particular print, the original art piece, was completed in the mid-1700s. And there are several different art pieces by different artists of this time. And what they do is they number all of the different flowers, and then below, each number corresponds to what flower they are. So these prints kind of satisfied the scientific uh, curiosities of Europeans during this time because it kind of was like a botanical study when you put all of these pieces together month by month. I got this piece for $12.99 which I thought was a little expensive but there was something telling me that there was value in this piece and not only that I love it. I am so attracted to the way this looks. This is you know, just my colors, just my style, pretty much everything that I love. And the other thing that I wanted to look for were lamps, and I found two, and I'm going to show one of them to you. So I found just the lamp, not the lampshade, and this lamp was only $6.99. It's a beautiful Chinese chinoiserie lamp, and it has a lot of pinks and creams and blues. Now, it was looking pretty dingy at the thrift store, but I knew it would be gorgeous when it was all cleaned up, so I did. I brought it home, I cleaned it up. It is stunning, and these lamps sell on Etsy from anywhere between $100 to $500 for a set, but the ones that are $500 for the set, they have gorgeous silk lampshades on them, and they also have the jade finials on the top. This one was just the lamp. And then I found this silk, this is a silk lampshade at Treasure Trove, and this lampshade was like $4, and it's silk. Now, I think the lampshade is a little bit big for this lamp. It'll do for now, but I will be on the lookout for one that's maybe a touch smaller, but I love the shape of it as well. Very traditional, and this satisfies my love of chinoiserie. It's really a beautiful lamp for $7. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is dishware, and I didn't buy a whole lot, but I did pick up a couple of things that I thought were really, really great prices and things that I loved. By the way, my husband hates that I collect dishes. He hates it, and <sighs> I don't understand why. You know, we don't have hundreds and hundreds of dishes by any means, but I do like to pick up dishes when I see them. So, am I crazy? Let me know in the comment section if I'm a crazy person. But I found these gorgeous ironstone plates. So I found these at that huge Salvation Army. And the print on here is Americana. I love the colors, but you guys may be thinking, well, Justina, you, you know, you have a lot of blue and white, you love blue and white, and you use a lot of pinks and creams in your home too. Like, what are you doing with brown? And one of the spaces that I don't often show you guys is our man cave area in our home. And that space has a lot of earthy tones in it with a lot of dark wood pieces. And so this is going to look perfect down there. And in fact, I got two of them. I really enjoy them. So for $1.99 a piece, let me have a little bit of fun. It's less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Okay, and then the other thing that I picked up at that Salvation Army are these teacups. And I got a set of five. There's one with a crack in it, but it's not egregious. The others are all in excellent condition. And some people might be like, ugh, they're Liberty Blue. What do you want with Liberty Blue? Teacups. So Liberty Blue was introduced in 1975 and made in 1976. It was introduced by Wedgwood Enoch in England. And the reason why they introduced this was for the bicentennial of America. So it's very interesting that this English ironstone company introduced this china. It was available like widespread in 1976 in America. And I was not born yet in 1976, but a lot of people had this, um, this dishware. And so a lot of people like baby boomer age or my grandparents' age, they see the Liberty Blue and they're like, we got this at the grocery store. We got this, you know, at a random uh, department store for not a whole lot of money. But for me, 1976 seems like a pretty long time ago. And thinking that now it's the year 2020, it's not going to be very long at all until it's 2076. So how old will my son be in 2076? He has children. How old will my grandchildren be in 2076? And by then, that's 100 years old. <laughs> So there's going to be some value here. Of course, I only got the teacups and the, the tea saucers. I wish they had 
a teapot or some other piece that would be even more valuable. I, I love that this dish where it invokes visions and the feelings of you know, the revolution and independence and freedom. I think that's so great. They look really pretty as a set and I will be using them because they're in such excellent condition. But at the same time, you know, I'm hoping that these are things that I could pass on to future generations. All right, sweet friends, that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as we took you thrifting. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.